It's time for another video for Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month for September, and today I want to talk to you about bowel and bladder care um, with a spinal cord injury. So let me talk to you real quick about the way it works in able-bodied people. Pretty much your bladder, the kidneys draw the poisons and stuff that's bad for us out of our bloodstream, and they come down tubing, and that all collects into our bladder. And as that collects, our bladder fills up, and then a bladder sends a message up to our brains that says your bladder is full, and we go to a bathroom and we empty our bladder. And when we, it just seems so easy to say, I need to go to the bathroom. So the brain sends a signal back down and there's two muscles. There's muscles inside your bladder walls and then there's a muscle down here that holds it in. And those muscles communicate together to squeeze the bladder wall and for you to release so that the urine can then flow out of your bladder. When you have a spinal cord injury, remember the signal is broken. So it doesn't communicate and depending on your spinal cord injury, depends on, there are people that are walking around now with a spinal cord injury that have never regained bladder function. There are some people that still can't walk at all but have some control of their bladder. So it just, once again, depends on your injury and how it looks for you. But um, this is one of the hidden things of spinal cord injuries that frustrate people is bowel and bladder. And it's really so much easier to sit in a wheelchair, but this is aggravating. So what we have to do, there are three different methods that allow you to be able to take care of your bladder. Not doing anything is not an option. You will probably die. So we, had to, we have to do something. So there are three different ways. Way number one is called an indwelling catheter, and that is where they literally put a tube up in you, and they inflate a balloon inside your bladder so that the tube won't slide out. They connect that tube to a leg bag, and your kidneys, as they drain all day long, just run down the tube and collect in your leg bag. And after the leg bag is full, you know it, you can see it, you go to a place and you empty it. Um, they have a really neat one now for quadriplegics that you wear like a Fitbit band, and literally you can wave it and it'll empty it for you somewhere so you don't have to depend on anybody else. That's awesome and you can talk to me about that later. But um, pretty much that's one that's one way and I don't have an illustration of that. It's pretty, pretty cut and dry. Another way is um, you can use your reflexes to empty your bladder or, or a type of spasm. I really don't take any baclofen or spasm medication um, because it will weaken my bladder muscles and I have a little bit of control of my bladder so I don't want to lose what control I have and so my spasms aren't horrible enough that I want to lose bladder control. So I've kind of chosen my bladder over getting rid of spasms for now. Um, so basically what happens is that muscle is pretty tight right there and it's not going anywhere. And when it gets to a certain level, you can tap and trigger a spasm. You can lean over on your abdomen and it triggers a spasm or you can, you can mash on it. And basically what it does with me and with a reflex care is basically as you mash and pull, it spasms that open. And when that spasm's open, it allows it to empty. Once I start flowing, there's no stopping it. And it can be triggered by not me just bending over and mashing on my stomach, but it can be a kid's knee that goes in your stomach if they're jumping on you, um, rolling over on your stomach with a full bladder in bed, if somebody puts pressure on it, anything can trigger that. So you do have to be careful. A third way then is intermittent catheterization, where every four to six hours you empty your bladder. Um, most of us, even if we have bladder... Um, if we have bladder, somewhat bladder control and even the reflex, we would still carry catheters with us because there's going to be times you can't get into a toilet to transfer to a toilet and you need to be able to take care of yourself. So I always have catheters on me in case I need them. Catheters pretty much come, your most generic kind is going to be in a box like this. The difference is male and female is male plumbing is a lot longer than female plumbing and that's the only difference. There's different sizes. They call them French sizes, a French 12, a French 14, and basically that's for individual anatomy, knowing what size of tubing you need to go in your bladder, and that's how big around the tube is versus um, how long it is as male and female. So um, girls can use boy catheters, and some women prefer that because they, they're more easily maneuverable to get over a toilet or something, but a boy can never use girl catheters. They're too short. So that's the most generic form. You still need alcohol swabs to clean yourself to make sure you're not pushing bacteria up in you. You need some kind of lubrication so that it slides in you and doesn't cut you or catch on anything going in. These do not have lubrication. They are sterile, but they don't have any kind of lubricant and no way to clean you um, outside. You can buy a complete kit like this that would have your gloves, your underbed pad, your alcohol swabs, and it also has your complete system with the baggie that you would literally take that off, stick that up to you, run your tube up inside your body. It would drain into this bag. You get done. You rip open the bag, drain it wherever you need to, and throw this whole system away. You can get complete systems like this. Some insurances will let you and will pay for them, and some won't. You just have to try to figure it out. Another way, though, that a lot of people do is um, you can get a smaller, but doesn't have the gloves and all that stuff. But it's a smaller system, and it comes in this size right here. Um, this is a female. A male is longer. The tubing is longer. And basically, this is what it looks like. I stuck it up in a balloon so you could see how, how it goes up in you. 
But basically, this is this whole system in this little tiny thing, which is great for purses or glove compartments of your vehicle or a backpack. Um, a lot easier sometimes in these huge packs. But they've got the bag attached, so that if you can't get into a restroom or anything like that, you've got it right there. You can take care and collect your urine as you need to. It literally just opens up like that, pulls out, and there you have it. This is the female, and like I said, they have the male. The only difference is the size of the tubing. This is a really amazing product, especially if people have little children. Um, they can actually just take care of them in the back of a car seat or something like that if they need to take care of their children's catheter care. This is my personal favorite. It's a little tiny one about the size of a tube of lipstick. These are all pre-lubricated, so all you need is the alcohol swabs to make sure externally you're not pushing bacteria in. But you don't have to carry around your lubricant and all this different kind of stuff. And you just literally just same thing. You pull it out and there it is. It's lubricated and ready to go. If you don't have a spinal cord injury, I'm not trying to gross you out on all this stuff. It's just the facts of what we have to deal with with spinal cord injury. Um, the bowels is pretty much the same way. The smooth muscles in our intestines work fine. It brings the stool down, but we don't have the muscle control to get it out or to keep it in. So there's different bowel care, different programs, um, magic bullet, different enemas you can put in to get that stool to come down, and then you have to remove that stool. Or you can get, um, we train our bowels. You can train them to move at certain times of day so you can actually schedule your life around it. Now you're still going to have your occasional accidents because just as when you're able-bodied, you can eat food that upsets your stomach. Um, if it's too loose, we, I just sometimes I have to miss out on things because I just have to stay home. I have to be near my change of clothes and things like that, and that's just part of it. If you be careful with your diet, there's certain things you can do to help that with your diet. Um, what you're taking in your body does help with what's coming out. The last thing is, if you're wondering how I know and have all these samples, it's because I work for ABC Medical. I'm a sales advocate for them, and um, they are a great company. And if you want to go to my website, wwwabc medcom alregan that's me. You'll find me there. And there's an order form here that you can put in different kind of things and see if your insurance will try different things. You can also request samples through that and allow you to look at some of the different products they have out there available. Um, I'm going to have him pan over to my bed real quick and just look. That is all the different companies. There's a lot of catheter companies that make catheters, and we're a distributor of catheters. And so with our distribution, we work with all the companies, and that's the biggest thing, is I say, get samples, see what's out there, find out what works best for you. I'm totally against a doctor telling me what I have to use, 100%. Now, once again, we have insurance issues, and there's different, there's other catheter companies besides mine, distribution companies, so find some. The most important thing is that you figure out what would work best for your body, your spinal cord injury, and know that there's a lot of choices out there. So get samples. All these companies will send you samples. Figure out what you like. See if we can take care of you. If you want to go to my website, I would love to help you. But if not, dig around. Talk to your urologist and see what works best for your body. So I hope you've learned something about the bowel and bladder today. And I sure appreciate you watching.